Hi, welcome to Briones Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're going to go over the top bad pickleball coaching tips that I hear all the time. Now, let's jump right in. All right, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to this channel, and also hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. Like I said in the intro, I hear these things all the time. Now, whether you've heard them from another player that you've played with out on the courts or you've gotten a lesson or two from somebody at the local rec center, these are common things that I hear. Now, let's get right to them. All right, how you doing? Good. Good, okay, my name is Jordan, and what's your name again? Katrina. Katrina, okay. So, um, I know you. this is your first lesson ever. I have a basket of balls here. Um, we're just gonna start talking about dinking, okay? So when we're dinking, you know, when we're hitting soft shots into our opponent's non-volley zone, one thing we wanna make sure is that our feet are right up at the line, okay? So even, even closer, even get it closer, we want it a nanometer from the line because we really wanna be able to attack balls, um, you know, as much as we can. And the biggest thing here is we never ever, ever under any circumstance, want to back up off the line okay so we want to make sure that our feet are glued to this line if you ever back up disadvantage okay strike okay it's a very very bad thing we don't want to do that actually better yet let's just make sure that your feet don't move at all okay so i'd rather have your feet not moving at all than for you to do this and back up you know off the line to hit a ball okay we want to make sure our feet are right up at the line okay as long as our toes don't touch it your perfect spot that's a good positioning okay so we're going to dink some balls and you're going to do your best to make sure you never back up you got it okay all right katrina here we go let's hit some dinks here okay good good job yeah yep don't move those feet don't back up don't back up okay don't back up don't back up don't don't yep okay good good i like that your feet are not you know they're not retreating at all though that's really really good again again don't back up don't back up don't even back up don't back up don't back up don't hey don't you you backed up you backed up that, that foot leave it there okay it's like a cement it's like it's glued in there okay all right here we go last one last one good 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 beautiful beautiful ah, ah don't don't make sure you keep that foot there okay all right here we go again all right, good, 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 good. Okay, don't, don't, okay, you did the right thing. Don't, don't move. Okay, even if the ball pops up, especially when the ball pops up, I don't care. You need to have those feet glued, okay? Okay, doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good, okay? Uh, no, nope. okay, you know what? You did the right thing. If the lob goes over you, just let it go. Just let it go. Great, all right. So for the first lesson, that's pretty good. Just make sure you never, ever, under any circumstance, back up off the line all right so obviously that was a little extreme example there but we hear this all the time right we hear players say never back up off the line um no matter what okay so it can't be that black and white there's a lot of things that can happen during the game and i for sure don't want you or anyone i'm working with with their feet glued here number one it really is going to hinder your movement at times we're going to have to move side to side all right we're going to have to move there and at times we're going to have to back up so when we're dinking here one main reason for backing off the line or taking a step back is to create space all right so as we start dinking here you know, we want to obviously keep our contact point out in front when we're dinking. But one thing we want to do is have some freedom to, you know, step back off the line if we have to take a deeper dink, right? When the dinks are really short out in front of us like this, there's no reason to move, right? Well, why don't you hit me some deeper ones? Okay. So as Katrina hit me some deeper ones, I might have to take a, a, a volley dink like that, or I might have to step back off, off the line, okay? And every time I step back off the line, I'm creating space so I can hit that ball out in front. You'll see pros and high level players do this all the time. So definitely okay to not have your feet glued up here. You know, as we're dinking, even cross court or down the line, there's many times where we're going to have to create some space and actually get in a better position to hit the ball, all right? So sometimes when the ball is landing here, you know, right around here. And why don't you hit me some things like low dinks here? 
if I'm getting it here, I could take these all out of the air here. But you know, if, if I'm getting dinks that are really close to my feet, okay, right here, these are low contact balls, super, super low, right? So, you know, I can't really do much with balls that are down here. But maybe if I let these balls drop and I take that step back, now I'm in a position where I can maybe attack or do some, you know, different things. And I have a variety of options, okay? And again, like we saw in those two scenarios, if your partner or you pop up the ball, there's nothing wrong with giving yourself some space and time and then setting, especially when you're playing defense. Obviously, when we get balls lobbed over our head, we have to go back and run that down or try to get it out of the air as an overhead if we can. All right, so now let's jump into the second bad strategy tip that I hear all the time. Hi, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get right back to the video. All right, so your name is Katrina. Yeah. All right, nice to meet you. All right, so um, we're going to get started here. I know this is only your second lesson, right, mm -hmm. in the past two decades or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, but we're going to start with, you know, the ready position. This is a very, very important thing, okay, and we want to make sure that we have our paddle up. Okay, I want you to keep that in your mind, paddle up, okay? okay. So that is what we want to really focus on when we're in a ready position. Let's get in a nice low stance. Okay, really, really good. And let's have this paddle up, paddle up, okay? Wow. Now, why, the reason why we have our paddle up is so that we're always ready for the ball, okay? We always want to be ready for it. And if our paddle is up nice and high like this, we're, you're going to be able to get every single ball back. Like this? Every ball, yeah. I mean, you can just hit it, you know, if you have to take a forehand like this, obviously, and if you, you know, going to take a backhand here, but the main thing is paddle up. Okay, paddle up high like that, nice and high. This is what all the pros do. Now I'm gonna come over here. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna start some, uh, I'm gonna just start as a dink, okay? So we're gonna dink, but make sure, right? Paddle up after, in between shots. In between every shot, we pace that paddle up high. Just like that, here we go. Up, 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 there, nice, nice, nice. Up, 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 yes. Yes, just up, 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 get ready, get it ready for a hard one. Oh. Hey, that was good. That was good. That was good. Okay. So here we go again. Paddle up, paddle up. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Paddle up, paddle up. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Paddle up, paddle up. Okay. Paddle up, paddle up. Okay. You know, not bad. Not bad. That's really good. But you're going to, you know, we're talking about playing high percentage pick a ball and trying to get as many balls as we can back. Okay. So make sure to have that paddle up here. Okay. Yep. Perfect. And you're going to get to many, many balls, no matter how fast the ball comes at you. All right. All right, again, that's a little bit extreme, but I do see a lot of players with their paddle up super, super high and, you know, out really, really far from their body, okay? Obviously, if you've seen me teach about this before, you know, I like to hold my paddle around navel or waist height into a slightly backhand position, okay? And this, in this position, I can get to every ball no matter if it's coming fast or slow. The reason why we don't, you know, we hear this paddle up position, players are sometimes are this high. You know, as you're improving and as you're playing a lot of games, where are the balls going to go? They're gonna come low. They're gonna come right here at the feet and you're not gonna be able to get them if you're constantly putting your paddle up really, really high. And then also, I want my paddle to be you know a little bit in close to my body okay if we have our paddle way up here and we're the ball's getting hit really fast we might have to retract it and then hit it right For, from this position we can block or we can attack just like that so after every dink or after every shot i'm going to bring my paddle up around navel height and then it's just going to be right here and this is actually what you'll see the pros do in their paddle position is here all right let's play a couple points here Okay, so we can dink it around. As you can see here, whether I take a forehand or backhand, my, my paddle goes into ready position, even if we have a volley exchange here. Okay. Good, 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 good. Really nice, really nice. Okay. So remember, paddle up is a very, very general term. I don't like it because that can mean up here, that can mean anywhere, right? We wanna make sure we have our paddle in a good height where we can get the balls up here if we need to, and especially get to these low ones down here. All right, here we go. So first lesson uh, was it Catherine, right? Uh, close enough. Uh, okay, Catherine, all right. So what we're gonna do, um, I know this is only your 17th lesson 
in the past week, right? Yeah. Um, but you know, hard. yeah. What we're gonna do is, you know, we're gonna start with the serve here. Okay, this is a very, very fundamental thing that we need to get down and we need to get it right. Okay. So, um, you know what? Before we start, why don't you just just hit a serve and show me, you know, kind of how you hit it, and then I'm going to adjust it and fix it, you know, so it's more technical, right? We really, really want to get technical with this. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was sidearm, sidearm. I don't know if you saw that, but, you know, paddle above the wrist and, you know, that's, you know, that's a borderline um, serve there. We don't, we definitely don't want to serve like that, okay? Um, now, have you played any other sports before? Uh, paddle sports? Yeah, just no. anything? I mean, I swat flies. Swat flies. Okay, we can use that for overheads later, just like swatting a fly, okay. but you haven't played any sports. Um, have you been bowling? Uh, once or twice. Okay, once or twice. Okay, so we want to serve exactly like we're bowling, like a bowling motion. Have you ever heard of that? Uh, no. Okay, okay, so step back here, and I'm going to show you a couple serves. Now, um, that whole tennis sidearm motion, we definitely want to get out of. Remember, we want to serve just like we're bowling, okay? Um, have you ever bowled a strike before? A strike. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Regardless, right? We want to serve like we're bowling. So just pretend here. Let's uh, here, I'll, I'll hold your paddle here. Okay. Grab this ball. Oh, sorry. Grab that. Grab this ball here. Okay. So we're just get ready. Like the lane's right there. Let's get ready in this position. Okay. And then let's let's just bowl it. Let's just bowl it. Bowl it. Bowl it. So see see this motion? Yeah. See. That's how we want it. So when we put it um, fully together, okay, when we pull it fully together, just like we're bowling, okay? So again, you can just start simple like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, again, again, again. Okay, notice, notice there's no movement or rotation or anything, any other bigger muscles that are helping do this serve. I'm just using like this. Now, if you do want to put some power into it or finesse it, okay, we're gonna talk about finesse. Oh, here, actually, yeah, hold that ball for me. Okay, so step aside right here so the camera can see it here. All right, now, remember, here we go. Just like we're bowling. Oh, oh. watch that one. Okay, good, 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 good. So did you see my motion? Okay, one more time, one more time. Okay, you see how consistent that is? Yeah. Okay, and that is what is going to be the most consist consistent ball. Now you could just start like this, okay? You could just start like this, okay? If you wanna get fancy, you know, just, just act like and, you know, just like you're bowling. Okay. All right, so here we go. We'll start simple here. Go ahead, go ahead, like you're bowling, bowling. Good, good, okay, all right. Make sure you to not sidearm it. Don't sidearm it, okay? Here we go, here we go. Okay, good, really good. I like that, I like that. Make sure you keep your balance, okay? All right, here we go, last one, last one. Make sure you're bowling, you keep this arm locked in, okay? Okay, good, 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 and see? Nice and consistent, really, really, really high, and it lands, you know, mid-court. Okay. Um, it's really, really good, really, really good. All right, again bowling motion serving <laughs> like you're bowling not the best thing in the world okay um there's a reason why whether you like it or not players with a tennis background have the best serves and pickleball and tennis because they are racket sports a tennis forehand is very very similar to a pickleball forehand it's, it's very very similar so when i'm serving i definitely don't want to serve like a bowling or kind of like pendulum motion like this, really, really stiff, right? I actually want to, you know, get set up here in a semi-open stance here. This is kind of how I serve. We'll dive deeper in another video on all the aspects of serving, but definitely I want to start like this, and then I want to swing low to high and finish towards my left shoulder, okay? So, you know, you can start down here, and then I'm going to swing through, and notice as I, as I serve, you know, my hips are rotating and then my shoulders, everything's rotating. And then my finish and my follow through is up here towards my left shoulder. Okay. So it's a low to high motion. And one thing, just a quick tip here, you definitely want to keep your, um, your wrist and your, you know, grip pressure relaxed and soft. And then as I swing through, I'm going to be rotating and coming through 
just like actually you saw Katrina there on her first serve, which was really, really good, okay? So you want it to look something like this. Okay, so that's a nice serve there. Here we go again. Okay, all right, so if you are stuck and you do serve like this, you know, I'm not trying to specifically, you know, call you out, but you know, when we're talking about advancing and getting better and better, learning top spin, and learning how to drive the ball and adding new weapons to your toolbox, you're definitely going to want to start serving with more like a tennis-like motion, but you know, you don't even have to play tennis or anything. You could just start like this and then make sure we're swinging up and towards our left shoulder, you know, starting by our right hip if uh, you're a righty and then swinging through up to here. All right, so that wraps up this video of all these bad coaching tips that I hear. You know, I've heard these throughout the years. So, you know, if someone is telling you something, take it with a grain of salt. And, you know, one thing you could do is you can just watch the pros play, see what they do. You know, do they ever, you know, let balls drop? Do they ever drive their third shot, right? Um, or you can watch videos here on Brianna's Pickleball YouTube channel, all right? But again, most people mean well. They just, um, you know, they just kind of hear things here and there and pick up things. And sometimes it's just not the best solution for all things all right so that's the purpose of this video um, i hope you really enjoyed these examples here and we hope to see you in the next one so we'll see you next time thanks so much for watching for a free pickleball workout routine that is guaranteed to level up your game head on to brionispickleball.com forward slash workout before you head on over there make sure you're subscribed to this youtube channel and hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm